was a lifelong journey. And on this journey, there are two exemplary leaders with whom Ambassador Mabuza's story is inextricably linked. Both of them amongst the best leaders that our continent has produced. One is Oliver Reginald Tambo, her mentor and the longest serving president of the African National Congress. And the other is the former president of the African National Congress and the former president of South Africa, President Thabo Mbeki. If I may please ask you to come and give your tribute to Ambassador Mabuza. I've just been told uh, I can speak for an hour. <laughs> but program directors and uh, our religious leaders, Father Dumi Sojiani and Father Mdutuzi Lores Ndovu, and fellow mourners. We know that South Africa faces many problems. I think all of us hear this message every day about very deep concern of the people about the levels of corruption. I think all of us know this very well that uh, one of the big problems is the levels of poverty. There are parts of the country as you move around where even before you arrive at a place you can smell poverty. And all of us, I'm sure, have been very concerned about a degree of lawlessness, not lack of respect for the law. Now they are pointing, they are accusing fingers, accusing fingers who are pointing at Lindy West organization for all of these ills. We are pointing at the ANC. Barbara was right. She was being very gentle. <laughs> that Lindy was desperately unhappy. Desperately unhappy to see her organization presiding over that kind of reality. and indeed felt that that accusing finger was pointing at all of us, including herself. But I think fortunately the, uh, the ANC had understood, I think, had come to understand the challenges it faced in this regard. And as you know, at this last National Congress in 2017, it took an important decision for its renewal. And I'm really hoping that the leadership of the ANC will act on that, that renewal. We have been, I at least have been using a, a borrowed phrase in that context. that the ANC must aim, in terms of that process of renewal, <coughs> for a new reality about itself.
that it must recognize that it carries in its ranks people who carry the title ANC members, who wear the ANC t-shirts, who toy toy very well and sing freedom songs very well, but were not ANC. That it needs to liberate itself from that kind of person. And so I've been saying that I've been, I borrowed a phrase from somewhere that in that process of renewal, the ANC must say, better, fewer, but better. I'm quite certain that uh, had Lindy were lived, she would be among that fewer who would remain, but better. Because who she was and what she represented, the kind of person that Barbara has just spoken about. If one wanted to say, when you talk about an ANC cadre, what kind of person are you talking about? Many of us who knew her would point at Lindy Wayne and say, Lindy Wayne Mabuza is what we mean when we talk about the cadre of the ANC. About what we mean when we talk about a servant of the people. Because she had demonstrated that she had proved herself in that capacity in many ways. In many ways that we know. As a diplomat of the movement and a diplomat of the Republic, of the Democratic Republic, the matter that Barbara, very important matter Barbara has just mentioned, the use of the arts, in order to make sure that we achieve a particular kind of liberation, informed by a certain level of humanity, with a conscience, Correctly, our program directors here have spoken about Lindy Ware's commitment to feminism. It said in her biography that, uh, correctly, that at some point she edited a uh, magazine of the, South, of the ANC women's section, what was it, then the AMC section in exile, The Voice of Women. and added quality and content to that very important journal, Vow, the Voice of Women. She had an outstanding organizing capacity. Wherever she has served, in all of these places that Barbara has mentioned, whether in the Sweden and Scandinavia, or in the US, or Germany, or Malaysia and then everywhere else, always managed to organize people behind the struggle behind the African National Congress. And I think it's because people instinctively believed her. They believed in this beautiful future for South Africa that she talked about and were prepared to go along with her. I'm saying had she lived, the process of renewal, following this prescript of better, fewer, but better, would have left Lindy Way as one of its members. And as part of our grief today, that as we have to carry out that task of repositioning the ANC to where it ought to be, she will not be there. Not only as an activist in that particular process, but as an example. As an example of what kind of ANC are we trying to create? We would say that that, that ANC is represented by this one, Lindwe Mabuz. I'm saying that's part of the sadness that she has left us. 
But I think we know what it is she said we must do. And obviously I think we must do it. That process of renewal so that the ANC becomes the instrument for which she lived, for which she worked so hard, for which she most mobilized so many millions of people around the globe to support. Tembi, yeah, the Mabuza family, the Msimangs. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, Barbara, you mentioned the Sanguinis. Um, our sincere condolences. Uh, I think the country, the nation, has also lost a giant. But surely, surely, we will follow the example she has set. And thank you very much.